Hey guys, hey, this is Elaine with Passion for Yarn. How's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a great Thursday. It is nighttime here, so I'm sorry for the quality of the video, but I had to show you how I finished the bear, uh, the bag, the uh, gift bag for the bear because it's almost 7 p.m. here Eastern Time. But I had to do the video now because my daughter's taking this with her early in the morning to give to her friend. So in this video, I'm going to show you the gift bag that I made in this central knitting machine, show you how it looks, and then I will give you an example of, I'll let you know why I had to redo the gift bag with a different yarn that the central didn't like, and I'll show you the difference on that. Okay, so here's the bear, and I'm gonna lift him up. So there's the cute bear right here, and with the gift bag, I'll just put him right here, maybe you can see him better that way. That's the gift bag right there, there he goes in the gift bag. Okay, it has handles. She requested handles. I put bees. But now I'm going to take them off the gift bag because we're going to do a comparison with the other one I made first. Please excuse the food in the background. I'm doing this on my kitchen table. Okay, one second, please. Okay, guys, so I took the took it off the bear. This is how it looks off the bear. I think it came out pretty, 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 uh, pretty nice. Um, this is done in the central knitting machine. I, it's, um, 120 rows, 30 rows of each, uh, two of white and two, two 30 rows of the pink. And I did put it, uh, inside out double, like if you would make a hat, but I left the top open and then I did a, uh, I did a, a braided, uh, I did a, a chain crochet. I changed. I made a street, uh, a drawstring of the. Uh, I can't talk today. Blah. Uh, for this bag, and it was crocheted in the pink one, and I put it in and out like you can see here. But I didn't do it for it, so you could use it as a draw, a drawstring. I used this so I could make this decoration here. So I used some of my peas, uh, pink and white bees. Then I. Uh, did a little braid there, and then I put bees right here. And he it has two handles. My daughter wanted handles on the bag. So it has two handles, uh, which is a chain of 20. And so it has two handles in the side, and I left the threads loose like that just for de decoration. My daughter likes it. And then it has two handles here. It has another handle here. So my daughter didn't want me to do the gift bag. She only wanted it, the gift bag to reach up to his bow. And then she's going to give it to her with the head popping out of the bag and the arms. So that's how I came up with the stitches. Now, I made this one before. Okay, I made this one. Uh, this is the second one. This first one, we're going to compare it to the first one. So this is the this is the first one I made. This is actually how it looks before I put it inside, uh, doubled it, um, and also... Uh, did all the decorations see that's the finished product this is the first one i made <clears throat> so let's take a look at the pink so i started with 30 rows of the pink see how beautiful it looks this is a uh, this is big twist the central loves big twist beautiful stitches but then when i started using the white yarn which is not big twist that you can see that the machine did not like this yarn at all you see all the, that there then when i can change the yarn back to pink it looks different the machine loved it then when i changed it back to white it looked awful so the yarn that this central does not like it is walmart's yarn i don't have the label on it but this is the wa the white from walmart's yarn mainstay white the central does a lousy job with this yarn when you work with this yarn with the central it just doesn't look as pretty as big twist as you can see here so I will not recommend you guys using the Walmart brand mainstay a weight number four for the central machine this is big twist the same weight and it came out beautiful so I just wanted to show you real quick um, <clears throat> what I made here I'm gonna make a couple of more of these I actually love the way it came out um, this is the way it looks in the back and I stitched the bottom that's how it looks in the bottom right there and I will be making some of these for uh, you guys but anyways um, I will 
give you more detail about that in my next video. But just wanted to share you guys uh, the gift bag that I made for the gift for the bear that is for my daughter's friend. Well, guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Sorry, I'm tired and I've been crocheting all day. I um so I'm sorry for all the uh, in the beginning of the video I uh just couldn't speak but anyways um please give it a thumbs up share like and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell button so you don't miss my um, my next video so guys stay tuned for the next video which I've been working on my uh which are leggings but they're really pantyhose I'm making for myself. Anyways, it's looking nice. Stay tuned for the next video and I'll show you that project that I'm working on. God bless. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye for now.